Welcome to the Shreveport Connection with Tommy. This is your, this is your TNA Impact spoilers for the month of May and June. Of course, you got pay per views as well. TNA One Night Only Knockouts pay per I pay per view or whatever it was that was on online. Uh, results of Angelina Love defeating Scarlett Bordeaux, Madison Rain defeating Jessica Havoc. Ruby Sky defeated Velvet Sky after Angelina Love accidentally sprayed Velvet with hairspray. Tara Terrell returned to action, defeating Carly Perez, formerly uh, Maxine of uh, WWE. <coughs> Mia Kim uh, defeated Brittany. Brooke Kessmacher returned and defeated Deanna Perrazzo. Marty Bell defeated ODB after Spud interfered. And they did a vignette where Bell agreed to be his girlfriend earlier in the evening. ODB de defeated Spud in a, a mixed action. And winners of, of a bat, uh, the winners, all the winners uh, battled in a gauntlet match. And Madison Rain defeated Angelina Love to become the knockout queen. One night only Victory Road spoilers. The winner of TNA Victory Road will receive a future World Heavyweight title shot. Bram defeated Davey Richards. Austin Aries defeated Kenny King. James Storm and Kazarian defeated Nook and the Freak. Uh, Bobby Lashley defeated Samoa Joe with the help of Kenny King. Abyss defeated Mr. Anderson. Wait for it. Anderson. Romance defeated Bully Ray and Rockstar Spud when Spud turned on Bully. Duh. How did that make him make a range of this? Gunner defeated Magnus. Ethan Carter III defeated Sonata. Samuel Shaw defeated Crazy Steve with a sleeper hole. Must have been the million dollar dream. Uh, Eddie Edwards defeated Zima Ion or DJ Z. And Ty Tiger Uno with a single legged crab on DJ Z. And about a royal gunner and storm were the last two remaining with gunner Penny Storm for the win. And get this, when was a uh, battle royal decided with a pinball? Okay, impact spoiler for May 15th, just in case you didn't catch it, or I didn't get it to you. Kazarian uh, defeated Crazy Steve with a menagerie coming with him. Steve uh, constantly fooled around during the match and was more entertained by doing things such as diving onto balloons. And he was disqualified when he pulled down the referee's pants. Eric Young came to the ring to cut a promo on MVP, saying he turned his back on him. He said everyone wanted to, wanted change in TNA and they thought anyone would be better than Dixie Carter. He promised he would be a fighting champion and still intend to do that. He says he doesn't want to wait until the anniversary. And wants to fight MVP right now. MVP comes on the screen. He runs down Eric Young and reminds him that he is the one who gave Eric this opportunity. Willow defeated Bram and Magnus in a handicap match. Bram attacked Willow from behind and went to the back to get a turnbuckle hook from underneath the ring. He shoved the turnbuckle hook at Magnus and told him to take it. Willow rode up Magnus when he wasn't looking. Magnus and Bram began arguing after the match. <laughs> that, that seems like a last week's episode of, on uh, May 8th. And then James Storm defeated Mr. Anderson after smashing a beer bottle over his head. Eric Young found MVP and the two began brawling backstage. Security had to separate two and MVP managed to get in a low blow. And MVC, MVP said that he, they will have their match later in the evening. Gail Kidd came to the ring and called out the beautiful people. Angelina came to the ring and, and Gail was jealous of her championship win. <clears throat> Velvet Sky attacked Gale. Bell, the bell rings and we have Gale Kim versus Velvet Sky. Gale Kim defeated uh, Velvet Sky. Angelina nailed Gale with the belt following the match. Donato retains his exhibition championship in a three-way match against DJ Z and Tiger Uno. Eric, Eric Young retained his title over MVP, MVP by disqualification during the match. Kenny King ran out and it's his finisher on Eric Young, and Brian Hitmer ordered a DQ, but MVP orders the match to be restarted. Brian refuses, and Kenny knocks out, uh, Kenny knocks out Brian. 
Bobby Lashley's music hits and he runs to the ring. Then he motions towards MVP and Kenny King. But turns around and spears Eric Young. This sets up the chairs. As Lashley powerbombs Young through the chairs, MVP is shown holding the title again in the impact taping for that week at the end of this coming week. Explosion spoilers! Angelo and Love will Velvet defeated Whitney. Right on. Okay, May 29th. This uh, could be out of whack. Or out of order. Graham defeated Tiger Uno. Graham continued to attack on Uno after the match. But Magnus came out to stop Graham. Magnus said that the Graham needs to prove himself against Willow. Mr. Anderson and Gunner defeated the Bowmans. After the match, Menagerie came out and laid out DJZ. Billy Ray came out in the ring and had six tables laid out. He said each table was for one person on his list. MVP, Kenny King, Bobby Lashley, Spud, EC3, and Dixie. Ray said all of them will go through tables. MVP, Lashley, and King attacked Ray until the Wolves, Aries, and Eric Young made a save. Aries challenged him to a six-minute tag. And then that match was MVP, Kenny King, and Bobby Lashley defeating Austin Aries, Eddie Edwards, and Navy Richards. But no boy Ray. Explosion tape with uh, Madison Rain uh, defeating Velvet Sky with a roll up when Velvet went to put the brown bag on Madison. Okay, yeah, the date was out of the whack. Okay, May 22nd episode. Bobby Lashley and Kenny King came to the ring representing a new faction running in TNA. MVP applauded himself as a genius and said that men in power, such as himself, can also bring in his friends to share this power. He says the fans have had, have been had since day one and are so gullible, and they are the gullible ones. That, and then says you have to lie and cheat to get to the top. Hmm. What's he doing? Still stealing Eddie Guerrero? Lying? I like, I cheat, I see. Kenny said the uh, MVP called him months ago to lay out his genius plan. And then their exhibition match was uh, meant to throw everybody off, which it was. Lashley uh, took the mic and called MVP a visionary that opened the doors for him at lockdown. The Wolves interrupted their promo. Davey said that the Wolves respect MVP for giving them their opportunity. Well, MVP interrupts and said he gave the Wolves a contract and an opportunity. Davey calls MVP a coward. MVP says he could fire the Wolves right now and then send them back to working in the Indies for table scraps. Wolves attacked the three, uh, the three, but MVP, King, and Lashley got the upper hand. Eric Young came to the ring to talk about MVP. MVP interrupted and said he will give Eric Young a chance to speak, but on his terms. Eric Young says MVP stabbed him in the back and calls Kenny King a scumbag. Eric Young calls Lashley a sellout. He already paid his dues in wrestling, MMA, and the military. MVP said Lashley smartened up. MVP announced Eric Young will be in a match tonight. As a little love, it issued an open challenge to any knockout who has never won the knockout championship. And Brittany announced, answered the call. And Angelina Love defeated Brittany. Austin Aries defeated MVP by disqualification. Aries was about to finish off MVP when Lashley and, and Kimmy King made the save. Eric Young tried to help Aries but was overcome as well. And then MVP announces Bobby Lashley will face Eric Young. Dixie Carter and EC3 come out and says MVP refuses to answer calls and texts. Dixie feels offended and says that she has never disrespected or hurt a person in her life. MVP reminds everyone that Dixie hurt Bully Ray during sacrifice. Bully Ray runs out. With a steel pipe and chases Dixie away. MVP demands to know why Bully and Dixie are still here after he banned them from the impact zone. Ray says he is been meaning to say something to MVP for a long time. Ray calls MVP a piece of crap. Kenny attacks Ray and the three men begin to work on Ray. Dixie and EC3 return to the ring and yells at Ethan to get the tables as Ray, Ray, slam, Ray gets slammed through a table. Willow well, defeated Magnus with Bram in a fall count anywhere match as Bram tried to get Magnus to use the turnbuckle foot on Willow. Magnus finally tried to hit, no, hit Willow with the turnbuckle on Willow. And Willow with a twist of fate on the ramp. Eddie Edwards came to the ring to challenge MVP Kenny or Lashley. Kenny King hits his finisher on Eddie on the ramp. 
And then lastly, defeated Eric Young in a non-title match as MVP and Kenny King attacked Young. Ryan Hebner was about, about to throw out the match, but MVP stopped him. Austin Aries came out with a kidney stick to help Young, but lastly spared him. And back to the uh, 29th. That was the first one from earlier. I believe, well, Bram defeated Tiger Uno for May 29th when Bram continued to attack up on Uno after the match. As Magnus came out to stop Bram, Magnus said that the Bram needs to prove himself against Willow. Mr. Anderson and Gunner defeated Bro Mans after the match. Menagerie came out and laid out DJZ. Uh, Billy Ray came out in the ring and set, and set up six tables. <clears throat> he said each table was for one person on his list. MVP. Okay, well, I read was partial. This is a full thing. Well, MVP, Kenny King, Bobby Lashley, Spud, EC3, and Dixie. All, and Ray said all of them will go through tables. As MVP, Lashley, Kenny attacked Ray until the Wolves, Aries, and Eric Young made the save. Aries challenged them to a six man tag. MVP, Kenny King, and Bobby Lashley defeated Aries. Edwards and Richards. <coughs> Dixie and Ethan Carter came out on and demanded that MVP comes out to finish their conversation from last week. MVP, King, and Lashley came out. The two factions argue over which one has more power in TNA. Eric Young and Billy Ray came out and trash talked the two factions. MVP booked Eric Young versus Billy Ray with Ethan Carter as a special guest referee for later on. Beautiful people defeated Gail Kim and Brittany. After losing the match, Brittany called out Madison and demanded to know why Madison refused to be her partner against the beautiful people. Rain tells Brittany that she has a long history with the beautiful people and that this is her this is her fight. The two began to banter back and forth as, and then the beautiful people return to the ring to witness the drama. Madison, and Madison then announces that she has called in her rematch against Angelina for the knockout title for next week. Eric Young versus Bully Ray ended in a no contest when Bully Ray kicked Ethan Carter third in the face as MVP Kenny King and Bobby Lashley came out and attacked Young and Ray. Samoa Joe came out to make the save. Explosions for that particular episode is uh, Madison Rain defeating Velvet Sky with a roll up. Well, Velvet went to put the brown bag on Madison. June the 5th, spoilers. Mr. Anderson comes to the ring dressed as a cowboy mocking Jay Storm. He spoke to Christy Hemi and said, Sorry about my damn breath. That's right. Get it? Sorry about your damn what? Well, sorry about my damn breath. Uh, Storm says that uh, Mr. Anderson has pissed him off and wants to go another round. The two brawl at ringside and Storm eventually got the upper hand and hit him with the last call super kick on Anderson. As you know, Love defeated Madison Rain. Brittany was at ringside but refused to help Madison. While Velvet Sky used her hairspray on Madison. Bram vs. Willow ended up in a disqualification when Magnus ambushed Willow. Samoa Joe challenged MVP Kenny King and Bobby Lashley to a three on one handicap match. Austin Aries came out to help Samoa Joe. MVP came out and announced tonight's main event will be Samoa Joe vs. Austin Aries. Loser leaves TNA. Hmm, that must be Samoa Joe leaves. <coughs> MVP announced that uh, the Wolves must face each other in a one on one match. Eddie Edwards defeating Davey Richards. Kenny King was taunting them throughout the match. Following Edwards' win, the Wolves attacked Kenny King. <coughs> MVP tells referee Brian Henry there wasn't this. Must be a winner or loser in the next match and at all costs. And that he doesn't want any funny stuff like disqualifications or countouts. Samoa Joe versus Austin Aries starts up. And Brian Henry starts counting both men. Uh, Counting both men's pins out fast. Eric Young runs out and grabs Brian Hebner by the legs and yells him at him to call this match fairly. Hebner yells back at Young saying that he has a family to feed and he has to follow orders. Hebner uh, gets back in the ring and starts his fast count again. Shenanigans. This time Bully Ray comes out and knocks Hebner out cold. Bully takes a mic and demands that this match stop right now. He says that MVP is getting into their heads by trying to get them to turn on each other. Then Bully Ray challenged MVP, Lashley, and Kenny King, and Ethan Carter III in a first blood match. Tonight with Bully Ray, Samoa Joe, Austin Aries, and Eric Young. The Brogman's call uh, come out and cut a promo about Menard calling them carnies and the freak show. 
Robbie E says on the Siri on the Syria side and says that he is scared of the clowns. Menager Ray comes out and attack the bro man. Bully Ray, Eric Young, and Samoa Joe, along with Austin Aries, defeated team, team MVP King King. Bobby Lashley, Ethan, Ethan Carter III, when, he, in, when Ethan Carter III was busted open. Explosion spoiler for that one. It was uh, Sonata defeating Tiger Uno. And June 22nd episode of Impact Wrestling. And I've heard that uh, Robbie T has been terminated from uh, TNA. And if you haven't seen him in quite a while, you see Robbie E, Robbie T. You want to see Robbie? I haven't seen him since then. Well, to start off June, okay, June 12th. My apologies. Eric Young came to the ring to wrestle. He challenged MVP again and said that uh, he may be this time he could face him in an even match if he isn't paying too much attention to Dixie. MVP comes out and says he doesn't take orders from Eric or Dixie. Young says that he knows any match that MVP is going to evolve King and Lashley. MVP says King and Lashley are wild cards and uh, he can't guarantee that they would not interfere in any match. MVP gives Eric the opportunity to have something special. He lets Young pick the stipulation for their match at San Anniversary, but only if he Young can win his best of three challenges of each of them tonight. MVP announces Eric Young versus Bobby Lashley right now. Right now. Lashley defeated Eric Young. After match, Lashley began beating on, on Young some more until Samoa Joe made to save the two brawl until Lashley ran off. Magnus and Bram came to the ring. Bra Bram says that uh, he is proud to bring back the old Magnus and not some suit wearing joke that the fans have been seeing for the last six months. Bram says that the two of them, as a team, are unstoppable. Willow comes to the ring and speaks on about Magnus having their an alter ego. He says that he will bring someone with him to San Anniversary to take out Bram and Magnus. Willow introduces his tag partner, Abyss. Next matchup was Nux defeating Robbie E. After the match, Robbie E. ran away because he says he has a fear of clowns. <coughs> and then Eric Young defeated Kenny King. Well, now it's a rubber, uh, it's a rubber match, 1-1. One, one. Ethan Carter III and Rockstar Spud come out to the ring where there are three chairs set up. EC3 introduces Brooke Textmaster to the ring. Ethan asks Brooke if the relationship between Bully and herself was a legit. Brooke says no. Then the segment turns into an interrogation of sorts, which uh, EC3 and Spud claiming that Textmaster was pregnant. Spud gets in Brooke's face and says that there is no need to lie about this. Spud says it's time to uh, come clean and admit that the bully is a father. Brooke gets, uh, gets in Spud's face and Ethan Carter threatens Brooke. Bully Ray hits the ring and, and Ethan Carter and Spud run out. Ethan eventually challenges Bully Ray to a table match at Simon Anniversary. Bully, uh, bully Ray ups the stakes and demands a Texas death match at Slam Anniversary. Ethan accepts the, the challenge. <laughs> in the knockout match is Gail Kim defeating Whitney and Madison for the right to face Angelina Love at Slam Anniversary. Eric Young defeated MVP by disqualification after Kenny King and Bobby Lashley interfered. And Eric Young gets to pick the stipulation for Slam Anniversary. Barely able to stand, Eric Young reveals his stipulation. He wants MVP in a steel cage at Slam Anniversary. And the spoilers for Explosion was the Wolves defeating Tiger Uno and say, uh, Say uh, Sonata. And then the second match was Nux and Crazy Steve defeating Jesse Goddard and DJ Z. And that concludes the spoilers until June the 12th. Thanks again. Peace out. God bless. See you in my video. And my, again, my new cast phrase. Well, if you didn't know, you better call me, bro.